Hi everyone. So this is the last on our practicing African spirituality for beginners series and on this one we are going to be focusing on understanding consulting with a healer. For anyone who is still trying to figure out their way through African spirituality, the prospect of having to consult with a healer or a sangoma can be extremely daunting. For one, you are coming in with a lot of misconceptions, a lot of confusion, and to be quite honest, you're also downright scared because you don't know what to expect and you don't know how to even feel about the situation or whether or not this whole thing is actually going to work or not because you're thinking of all the things that you've read about, all the bad situations, all the bad treatment that people have gotten, and you have that niggling feeling of witchcraft somewhere at the back of your mind so i wanted to see if we could have a very basic understanding of how to actually consult with the sangoma from the beginning to preparing for it and right through the actual consultation itself and after so i spoke to Nkono Rifule Kibadimu who will guide us through the nitty-gritties of consulting with the healer One of the the, 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 the the most contentious topics in the sense that we don't necessarily know how to navigate consulting a healer in the sense that we don't know why, we don't know when, we don't know the, the construct of, of the consultation you know yeah so to to sort of get us started again i want to recap from what we when we spoke the last time in that there are a lot of different healing modalities mm-hmm. right there's a lot of different ways of healing yet we have only come ac- become accustomed to a sango right so why do you think that's the case in my case, I think it's because it's the most that has been pushed front. It's so popular, you know, <clears throat> to a point that if if you are not a Sangoma or if you haven't went necessarily like a Petrueni, like everybody else, people, they start to say, oh, you're not a healer. You know, you, you, you have to put yourself somewhere in a box. But being a Sangoma at the same time is not the best thing. Mm. It has its own ups and downs it has its own rules that people should adhere to but if us as as a people will stop putting healing in a box then Mm. we can easily get out of it because i think that's where the problem is Mm. we tend to put things in a box so that we can function in that box and immediately when we start to function in a box and things don't they don't make sense we start into a problem the reason why we are so familiar with Ubungoma is because we tend to claim it as if it's our own as Africans. But if you go to, to Russia, you find the same thing almost just there. They tweak it a bit. They go through Uktwasa the way we do, mm-hmm. but in their own way. So we can't say, Tina, we own this thing. We don't. Do you think that in sort of i won't say popularizing but in having such a big focus on specifically 
the Sangoma direction or modality of healing. Does it mean that we are only attending to a certain set of problems? I will say that in, in the whole tree, Bosangoma is like just a branch. Mm-hmm. We haven't even, you know, begin to understand spirituality because this is just that tiny little bit of a branch that everybody now is trying to claim as if they know. You cannot describe God, mm. no matter how hard we try. Mm. So God evolves. We should also be able to be, to evolve. Mm. But the way that things are, that's the reason why, Gary, we are so caught up in rules that were created. You know, there are rules that are created, you know, that are heavenly created. Mm. Then there are rules that are earthly created. Mm. We bound ourselves to earthly created things because they will tell you, Guti, you know, if you, if you become a Sangoma, you're supposed to have this type of dreams. Mm. You're supposed to know your Kovela. Mm. You're supposed to at least... Um, have prophetic dreams. Not everybody's like that. And we can't put everybody in that box. Are, are, we, are we wrong in assuming that a Sangoma is like a general practitioner that they can basically do more or less everything? I don't think we're wrong at the same time. I don't think we're right. Because a Sangoma, let's just break away from the Temi Sangoma because they can do a lot of things. You know, in, in, in it, you can find somebody that's clairvoyant, somebody that's clairaudient, somebody that's clairobjective. You can find somebody that's, they deal strictly with mediumship, mm. but they don't know. Mm. Because Masisa Pesherini, we are being told this is your diagnostic tools. You need to have the bones. Then if you to say umundao, you need to know how to femba in a certain way. That's killing the whole thing. We are just literally, maybe we should pause because we're messing the whole thing up. When you say pause, what do you mean? The whole African uh, uh, spirituality should just pause for a second and ask ourselves, where are we going? In what directions? Because now we are at the point where it's easy for me to come to you with my doctrine and Mm. say, this is African spirituality. Mm. It's not because my family, my lineage, how we run things, it's not going to be the same for you. Mm. So we cannot put things in a box. So then what should... Because now I'm, I'm trying to figure out what do we as ordinary people then... How do we conceptualize how to approach a healer? Like how do we know what to come for? You know what I mean? Like when when I go to a GP, I kind of in my mind, I subconsciously know what it is that I'm expecting is going to happen there. And you know, if if you as 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 a woman, when you go to a gynecologist, you mm-hmm. subconsciously kind of know no, that okay, I'm going to be dealing with you, maybe you, the you, outcome is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and and I think that's a more that it's such a it, it's almost it's complex, but it's also nuanced in that. Um, we we trying to say okay, I want to go see a healer, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, but what is it that th- the range of things that are that I can go for, which I think is what a lot of the time makes us skeptical as to should I or should I not go because we are not sure what falls, you know, within the- within their jurisdiction, right? So, but to to sort of turn that into a question within the african spiritual cosmology where do healers fit in into the whole structure in my way i think healers the way that we fit in i tend to think that we are sprayed with the essence of god we are here to remind people of their traditions their cultures their beliefs Mm -hmm. at the same time (coughs) we are here to heal in a different way that's where we fit in. When I'm here in this lifetime, because I'm carrying my own people, my own lineage, mm-hmm. it's like I have to remind even my, myself and my home, my home in terms of family, in terms of my community, mm-hmm. we need to remember God exists. God mm-hmm. exists in light. We also need to remember the rituals because there's secrets 
there's there's profound knowledge in rituals mm. so if there's a healer around you my way of seeing them is they are sprayed with that essence and you cannot define that essence until they themselves have, re- have reached the peak mm. that's where the problem is we don't reach the peak these days mm. so a big part of it is being custodians healers are, are, are custodians yeah custodians some are custodians of you know knowledge of herbs some are custodians of knowledge of diseases mm. some are custodians custodians of you know you you you're a, a midwife uh we have we have people who have callings to be a, a priest meaning you can preach the word of god then we have those that strictly they deal with kids you know mm. children they can open their own um nurseries and take care of those mm. but if you want to going back to your question when should you go to a healer me i'll advise people that you should start going to a healer first before you go anywhere else because you might find out that your situation is not necessarily you know it doesn't need the western uh medication of ways mm. so if you are in a in a in a jacker you know you're like juggling now like should i go mm. should i not go follow your instincts. I know that people will say but what is my instinct? Instinct is everywhere. Mm. It's either you listen to it or you are in tune to it or you don't want to listen to it. So if you have to go somewhere else, start with you. You know your blackness. Mm. Go to a healer, check your stuff. Then if you are not satisfied with that, you can say okay, let me just do check out that mm. other side. Maybe they can find what is wrong with me because if you go for a diagnostic um should i say it's a consultation it's an energy reading there's an energy reading that is so deep that a person that maybe you went to but i'll i'll talk for myself mm. you know we can body scan you and tell you what's wrong with you whether it's it's holistic spiritual or is it physical mm. Mm. so if you go there you are going to get the whole and don't be scared to to ask Mm. I've seen that most of people are scared to ask. Mm-hmm. Most of people when they go for for consultation they come in and they sit there in silence mm-hmm. expecting you to find what's wrong with them. Sometimes it's okay just to come in and be like, "Hey, something is wrong with my feet. Can you maybe check what's wrong there?" I think what causes the fear is 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 not knowing or not understanding. and a lot of it is is based on the misinformation that we grow up with right there's 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 a deep element of fear as well right <laughs> there's 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 a deep element of fear in that i'm not sure we, and i suppose this is, this goes back to our um christian upbringing mm-hmm. in that there's in within that fear there's an element of i'm doing something wrong I'm dabbling in something that I shouldn't, yeah. right? So then in trying to understand then um evaluating who whether I should go consult a healer or a western doctor, right? I'll give you a a, a typical 2021 scenario. Okay. Right? Um I'm not sleeping. Okay. Right. Um I may have lost my job. Okay. Or I haven't been able to find a job. Okay. Right? Or things are not necessarily going well at the at work because okay. of the lockdowns and there's been retrenchment yeah. and you know I'm losing weight, I have no appetite. It's it's difficult to get out of bed. I'm struggling with and as as a result of these, I'm struggling with my relationships. Mm-hmm. I'm struggling with my um with my finances. Mm-hmm. You know. This is what is happening. to a lot of people, people all at once right but these are the things that when you're hearing outside or when you're reading online like you should go check because isn't as happy guys and this could be a spiritual issue but my thing is like everyone is going through it yeah you know there is no there's no one doing something to me as mm-hmm. it were you know what i mean so I get you. it If a person is feeling like that, what would they be coming? What would they be would they need to consult and what exactly are they consulting for? Because this is a wide spectrum of issues. Basically with the, with the 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 examples that you've mentioned, if you 
that's just general life mm. you know if 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 you you sitting there at home and you you thinking you know my life is just not making sense do a draft of where the tension is mm-hmm. because if you are going through insomnia probably is your diet mm-hmm. you know you might be eating wrong you might be not purging in, in enough you know mm-hmm. you might not be cleansing your body inside enough if you're going through a lot of stuff that like right now in this moment in time that we in is locked down mm. everybody's facing the most mm. and if ever you are in a point of i need to go consult you should really thoroughly look if you need consultation of your life or you just need a proper counseling because sometimes people they come in dumbeni mm. then you throw the bones and you can see no man this person just needs to release mm. then you need to be that you know therapist or should i say a, 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 a counselor for that moment mm. for them just to be able to speak to speak sorry to speak mm. and just tell you you know i'm going through this so when you go into a healer don't go with the concept of i need to go consult uh they need to throw bones and my problems yeah, will be solved sometimes you just need to go in there and just treat them as a normal human being mm. you know like i'm going through this then we're like okay no let's talk because sometimes you just need somebody to you know to lend you that ear mm. some other people in 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 the western western practice the the christians they go to 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 what the the priest mm. the the sunday thing they do that where they go and say father i've mm. sinned and Your that's part of that's part of counseling mm. but rona harieza it's always people they deem it as consultation as consulting it's not consultation at some point at some point you just need to come in and we sit and we talk and you yeah, then i'm okay in in but if you're going through finance <laughs> you need somebody that's financially to come and help you <laughs> i think this is a big one i think i think the finances one is a big one it's a big in, one in in that people are struggling financially yeah. and within within their healing fraternity there are people who sort of make financial issues seem like they're all spiritual problems in that kono koko who's we are valela because you haven't done this or you haven't done that or you haven't been um obedient enough to abantabatala you haven't been um acknowledging them enough you haven't been doing enough for them or there's one who's angry and because of that you know i i i i understand and let me get this thing now so that you can understand when people are promising you financial gains because of your spiritual problems mm. you should always check that because not every lozi or should i say guides they were born or they had privilege some of or some of our guys they were under privilege we need to start confessing that mm. you know if you're going through a situation where you start to see i'm not making money the way that i want to you know not you sitting there by your by your by yourself you're not doing anything and now you're starting to think i need to to go consult because now ushibile somebody for that one is making it and i'm not Mm-hmm. If you are in business and you can see that your business is not growing the way that you want to that's the time to consult. Mm-hmm. You know, your business is not growing the way that you want to go consult. Mm-hmm. If you are sitting at home you're not doing anything and you think in your life it's stuck, it's probably in your mind. The truth should be told. That's why Gary, you should have a proper proper scan of your life. Your tension where is it? you have to check okay maybe i'm dreaming my dreaming they my my dreams they don't make sense go to a dream consultation with the healer mm. tell them this is what i'm dreaming and as it so uqala now uba on that journey of saying i'm building a relationship with the certain healer before you do that you should actually ask your guides bakolon you mm. should you know other families they don't do mpepo other families they do your essence sticks to zama zama india other families they just okay with snafe start there mm. to say okay you know what there's a healer there that i saw mm. you know can they be able to help me you are asking i get it from mm. batoba hul mm. if they they gel well with that healer 
things they become you know good for you actually this is a crucial thing because a lot of the time there there seems to be two um schools of thought in terms of approaching a healer there's this thing where it says that you will be led to a healer right? mm-hmm. and then there's on the other hand there's a sort of i suppose a more practical part where you can choose who you go to and i think we sort of struggle with differentiating between the two how easy is it to be led to someone and identifying that you're being led to someone for example you go online and there's healers online mm-hmm. you know um and you have a problem how do you know which one to go to a lot of people struggle with that like there's there there are, there are a lot of healers that i see online the, you know there are healers on instagram there are healers on twitter facebook and mm-hmm. whatever and i'm because 95% of the time i don't know these people personally <laughs> i've never met them yeah. how do i then know which one of them to choose because as being us being online people and you know aesthetic creatures you go to whoever <laughs> is appealing to the eye whoever seems to have a a, a welcoming profile not that's, even a face that's where the problem is mm-hmm. people are going there by ego not by spirit because mm-hmm. if you are looking for a healer it should be by spirit mm-hmm. if you are being led to a healer it should be let's just minus the ego because the ego is the flesh you are going to go to a, a healer because you saw the materialistic things mm-hmm. and now you think that's where you're going to find healing yeah. in most cases that's not how it works you need to find somebody that speaks to your spirit mm. and if ever you are in a in a in a in a zone that you you are going to say i'm going to choose for myself in that choosing still allow yourself to be led by spirit pastor and ask them i mm. want to go there because consultation is something that is yo it's intense mm. because if you are going for a consultation I'll I'll advise people to if you like a certain healer give them a call find out how they work mm-hmm. you know find out um protocols that you should observe you know should I wear a certain way should am I supposed to be eating a certain thing before I come to you mm-hmm. because the healers babang they don't uh the way that they work you're not supposed to eat pork when you come to them mm-hmm. you know that some other healers they'll tell you hurry when you come to me you should bring your own candles and your own stuff you know so that we can be able to work in the space so find out if ever there's somebody that you saw and you know they've charmed you in a way mm. find out how they work after finding how they work go home pasha mm. if you stay somewhere in a townhouse you know cuz yeah if you stay somewhere it's rented go out you know Uh, to what do they call this place those mini hills outside mm. wherever that you can mm. go there with your thingings that you you, you know they speak to you mm. and ask from your guys i want to go there and can you guys please guide me in a way that when i get there whatever that is i'm struggling with if it's by you mm. it should come out if it's just me you know the flesh i'm just in conflict with everything it should also come out Mm. That's how me I think if people can just that's why they treat us like 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 normal folks. Mm. You can even come in and be like, "You know what, Goko, I would like to come for a consultation." Mm. Um, how do you work? And if I have a certain problem, how do we get there? Because if you don't ask, it's easy for a person to say you have such and such and such. Mm. Um I've I've seen a lot of people most of the people when they come for consultation I'll speak for myself they love to to be told they have owned our spirit and like you mm. Mm. everybody just wants that something that is special mm. so minus the ego minus it when you deal with spirits spiritual things they should be strictly spiritual mm. when you are going through things that you can see or I more is just me mm. self empowerment do something about it mm. get books that speak about go to a library if you are sitting at home we don't go to libraries anymore anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> 
It's not 1993. You don't <laughs> no, do go to a library. Do you know when you go to a library, the smell of books, uh, it's something. And you, the thing is, it is so technologically that it's a requala too much. Yeah. And requala harona, yeah. it's causing a problem mm. because you interacting and and being with other people. Next, you know, you can even be helped by somebody that is not a sangoma. You can find that old lady there by the corner. Mm. They have knowledge, mm. but you guys are busy passing them by. You want the Instagram ones because you know we look fly and all of that, mm. and we have you know yeah. packaged things yeah. a certain way. And now you're thinking that one, ay, she doesn't know nothing because that old lady maybe how you look when no long come Rihanna they fold it in a paper yeah. and you don't want that when yeah. you want that nice packaging. Yeah. Minus the ego. Actually, you you bring a very interesting point in that there is. It happens where people say that I was walking through town and this lady came to me. I was in a taxi or I was in the shop and this coco came to me and said this and this. You know, you know your your people are angry at you. You know you haven't done this and this. You know they they give you like a a message that most of the time you don't even know where to place it. And and I suppose this one is 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 very common around people who who are who are then told that um, they have a calling, mm. right? And then they would say, you know, a random person thing told me, how what what do you what do you have to make of those messages that those unsolicited messages that you get from people who are just passing in jail? If somebody is passing you and they tell you that you have a calling, you need to ask them. Calling it or going from which side? Mm. If a person cannot define, Hori, whether it be a gobela, mm. e, you know, so there is a magadi range, you know, bom bom mem rapi, the all of those. Mm. If they cannot define where your loss is coming from, mm. you need to go home and chill, because mm. you might end up otwasa into asking your how. And when you start taking messages. If somebody's like, hey, Coco, you know what? Can I pull you to the side? Go home and do this. Then you ask them nice little thing. If I do this, what's the result? Mm-hmm. Some of the people will be like, no, it was just a message. Oh, if it's a message and you want to really go home and do it, you should ask them, those who are passing. There's a certain person in town, Okemoboning. They gave me this message. I like to know who sent that message to them and why it was so difficult to send it to me. Mm. Because if if you are in that, should I say, blockage, mm. you should find a way of coming out of that blockage because it's easy for people to play you. Mm. Because even if I can go further, you can go go to fetch home. Your loss is not even in that state. Hmm. Yeah, or it's ready to twasa. Where now you're just going through the rude awakening that hmm. everybody's going through, and now you're thinking, oh no, I'm supposed to go there and you know twas. Yeah. And it's just a rude awakening. Hmm. You are that child, maybe old tamiling, otsare everything, and come and do the cleaning. Because most of the time, when people are saying los lako lukwadel or rama los akwadel, they don't define it to the core. Mm-hmm. It's not that I'm mad at you. They're just you are that one. That they saw this one can be able to carry and clean this whole mess, mm. you know, in the family. Yeah. So then they're, they're not mad. Does it has it ever happened with you where you gave a random person? A lot of times. Oh nah, but who? Mm. Now they even tell me like in the house, <laughs> catch a taxi, go there. You're gonna meet so and so, and you need. I sometimes do consultations for free. I'll take the lotsaka gidi kenyo go peking. You know, I'll be like, okay, the spirit said, kia kwal. Then I'll fish a good thing. I'll even introduce myself. I've done that, I don't know how many times. Mm. And most of the time, I know haki fish a mo, the person that buys haki fish a gidi fish a gidi kope. Then I'll ask, what things, man, man, they'll be like, like recently, the last one that just happened, um, we were going, nikile mo motoro pongo farate. Then the lady just passed me. And all of a sudden, I was like, "Oh gosh, there's a message that I'm supposed to give her." Mm-hmm. You need to approach them in a manner that they don't reject you. Mm-hmm. You know, your approach needs to be 
can I speak to you? Then she was open. If somebody's not open, I don't pass the message. Mm. I keep it to myself, no matter how sick it's going to make me. Because I need you to be open for your own healing. Even hearing, it's healing. Mm. Just hearing that message is healing. So if most of the healers can stop, hmm, should I say, putting this thing, healing, it's, it's meant to be consultation all the time or if I see Horin that the voice just needs to go there, go medicine, I look di bata. Do it for free. Just say pro bono. Everybody can come because that's what we are meant to be doing. If something will not hurry, it doesn't cost me a cent. Mm. You know, I I ho cost him Riana, I ho cost Mirana Rega, I ho I ho cost Lidi Wash. You just need a prayer. Mm. Do it for free. Tell people I'm gonna be at such a such a spot. You know, if 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 you need to to hokena go mezi, we pray. Come, that's where you make healing accessible. Sometimes even do teaching. Don't teach us about anuke sangom, but don't teach us about sangbo kuba sangom. Mm. Teach us on how to carry ourselves. You know, in terms of spirituality. Teach us on things that we should be able to look out for in terms of us the growth of the whole. Um, tree as it is that will make healing a little bit better mm-hmm. because if it's a a lot of people they wouldn't be scared they will understand that okay if I dream probably my dream has meaning I should write down the meaning the feeling the time and you know everything that was in there then you will find out in that way mm-hmm. sometimes you just then you think you're dreaming then you should be able to know her a in a meaning and i was just dreaming and people should start switching off the phones because mm. we are here a lot mm. that on his own is the way you're supposed to dream and you're thinking oh i'm let the hunt you know 24 7 mm. why do you think it's going to be programming your mind mm. so yeah Okay, so let's let's talk about the consultation itself, mm. right? Is there a standard procedure to consulting? Like, I've I've now I'm ready to go consult. I've I've checked, and I think I found someone who they feel right. Mm-hmm. They look right, but they feel right. Mm. You know, um, and and I I'm, I feel that I'm settled when when I read. Their, their, their posts or I see pictures I suppose I guess that's how we are now evaluating mm. things how do how am I feeling and I'm like this person gives me a very calm comfortable feeling right yeah so um and there are there's their number there you know um I've sent a message Coco can I have mm. a slot Coco gives me a slot Thursday 11 o'clock yeah right so what is the right way of approaching a consultation in that what is going to happen in that for someone who has never ever consulted before they've never done it what is what is the right process of consulting what's going to happen in that session a wild ride <laughs> <laughs> if it's your first time <laughs> but yes. if you're going for a consultation what's going to happen we don't know because people they don't work the same but one thing that you should be able to ask how can mm. yourself mm. ask about the surname that you carry okay if it's you know right for you if a right if you are carrying your father's surname find out if you know your father done right by that's your mom. a huge thing though that's a huge thing that, that's i don't think i would do that why i don't because what are you saying what if you say no what are you saying i must do <laughs> You know but, what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> like. You, you, I'm in my thirties. You are saying I must ask about my surname. You're gonna say no, it's the wrong surname. Ah, dude. What? What do you? You know what I mean? Like the implications of that are, are so scary because should she say no? It's not the right one. Yo. It will hit you. Yo. But at least now I've given you a way out to go find your true self. Because I came because my neck hurts. <laughs> I, I have a headache <laughs> that won't go away. I can't I can't sleep. Now you are telling me my whole life is a lie. 
you need to find that one out because that's the foundation that makes you Mm-hmm. If you don't find if your last name Ewe Tswering, if it's right for you, a lot of things are going wrong. Yeah. You'll go to this point, yeah, or somebody be like, Hi, we know Gok Gok Valel. You don't even know where that Gok is coming from. So if you really, really want to know healing, start with your surname. Mm-hmm. Ask if, you know, the surname that I'm carrying, Gok is it the right one? You know, if it's from your father, find out if your father did the right thing by your mom's because people they don't understand this and that kwana malwandle it's a tug of war hmm. if people can understand gore that tug of war ibuhluko you find people have a path they use a surname that is not recognized and those that wants to be recognized they get mad yo they get really really mad that's the reason why you have cases of people that you can tell this person is supposed to be successful you know every time when they reach that thing they lose it hmm. every time when some you get married bana haba yo mumu le nyalo you know not hmm. necessarily law ya go the guy ni they can't necessarily find anything wrong with you because now we have to start digging deep the first foundation of consultation find out who you really are find out who are you on the right side or are you on the wrong side if ever you are on the wrong side you belong to your mom go do certain things cause gas is utori ba re me wa ikoketsa u ikokweditsa ke re ka wena yeah so ha i ga ntse jwalo find out who okay how why did i carry my father's surname if they married se khowa which go malwandle is not recognized it becomes a problem do something about it I think the 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 scary part of that this this there's, there's many ways in which this could be very challenging for 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 a person to have to approach in that one what if yes I did I I am using the wrong surname but the process of that is such a complicated thing and it might even be that the people responsible are not even around anymore It's not complicated. Right. My 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 mother died when I was nine years mm-hmm. old, and I've never met my father. Mm-hmm. I was raised by 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 my maternal grandmother, mm-hmm. who's never met my father, mm-hmm. and you know what I mean. And and my mother put me in my grandmother's care and left. You know what I mean. The, mm-hmm. the, where 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 would you even start? You know, it it seemed like such a something that could take years to resolve and a lot of money. Not necessarily. Mm-hmm. If you have the right healer and they know how to do it for you or how to give you instructions because now firstly you need to let's say you find out that you have a wrong surname mm-hmm. right then you need to don't buy a goat don't buy any of those you just need to buy a snake if you are kids about a suit or yeah go that and heal you know you talk to them because you don't know their graves like mm. you don't know anything about them you tell them that, you know the honest fact i'm using a, son, a wrong surname i like to come back home can you guys allow me to come back home mm. then after you doing that you give them time for bawara you know they mm. will either show you signs you need to be open especially our in a spiritual journey because signs can be two doves coming and sitting there by the branch Mm-hmm. and they're saying you know they're okay with it and when you'll be home stressing like you know Coco they even answered me then I'd be like but you dreamt you know mm-hmm. you saw it this They're like yeah I saw it so you need to link up with the with with the healer that mm-hmm. flows with you mm-hmm. so that they can be able to open that portal for you so if you are in a wrong setting it's it's people they make it like no you need to you if you don't know you know the graves mm-hmm. you go there by the end hill you talk to them I like to come back home Then after that you go to a process how you know all the regular things like how people they'll tell you buy chickens buy that's how they work mm. but if you don't have money you just take a glass of water mm-hmm. you throw your candles in there and you one rent and the other one is underneath you pray then after that got 12 you 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 pass like you tell it was like good I would like to have you back for anything that I've wronged you please come back the way ulinga teng ulumuswe come back with all my gifts and my purity 
then you drink the water, you go there by the four-way cross, you throw that silver, silver coin, then you come back. Why is it so hard for people just to... Because te- immediately I'll slab. Mm. You're opening another portal again. Because mm. khoslaba, it's something that people say about it. Mm. Dangerous. Yeah. Okay. This that, that sounds very... I won't get deeper into that because it's... It, I'm assuming it would be very per case mm. issue. It would it would it would be very individual. But the one that I just gave you mm-hmm. is very general. That's the general base if you are in a wrong setting mm-hmm. and if you want your Zosi back, general. You just do that, your things are then you can move from there. This is so are you saying that this is what a healer is most likely to tell you to do should 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 they say when you ask am i using the right term and they say no is this the textbook it's not a textbook uh, it's a traditional way of doing it mm-hmm. if you don't know your graves you don't know anything the entail works mm-hmm. you know you go there you talk to them like you are you having problems and you already know your people yeah. right by that yeah. time you know them and now you want sweet life mm. you go there with your brown sugar next to the end hill brown mm. sugar you tell them this is how i want my life to taste like the ants will come and take that and into the end hill okay so what how we got to that right because i want to go back to the okay. process of consultation how we got to that was i arrived um i sat down i greeted and you said how can I help you? And I, as you were saying, I must ask, am I using the right surname or not? And is this the part where the throwing of the bones comes in? Mm-hmm. Now with my side, if you come uh, and do consultation, I'll advise you to pass that at home. Mm-hmm. You know, immediately when you do that, consultation for me has begun. Mm-hmm. Whether you're asleep Mm-hmm. When I, you'll be sleeping. Mm-hmm. For me, they will come and be like, this this type of person, so and so and so, you know, you should help them with that, that, that. That's when consultation has begun. Mm-hmm. Let's say you come tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Sometimes even the footsteps of how you walk, it rings Muriana in my head. Mm-hmm. Sometimes just you sitting there. You know, we mm-hmm. have all this different types sometimes even you just walking in i even see the type of zozi that you're with mm-hmm. for others they just come there and be like if you don't want to listen because they converse with me as if it's normal mm. and when you don't see it so before you go for a consultation pass mm. Let your people know I am going somewhere else. So that haba fila kopi luena sotu fila kira bana bata mapil. Luena when you get there, tabata how do you know? You don't want somebody to consult and be like, hey, muki kocha kakeer. Because even though the the healer when they're struggling, they're not gonna tell you. Mm. They're not to be like, ah, you know, yeah, this is what I see. But we don't want to say, guys, pass her first, mm. then come. So there's also this thing of of whether or not you should tell the healer what's wrong and whether or not they should tell you what's wrong because th- th- there's this thing where sometimes you 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 I've heard it before where <laughs> they say that you you should just arrive a healer must know if if <laughs> if they are worth their salt you know yeah. if, if they've done the right thing if they are thorough mm. they they are good then they by the time you walk through the door they already know how is that always the case or like can i arrive and just say and just stare at you and say tell me what's wrong you see the one that you just said Mm -hmm. is that thing that i keep saying that we keep putting ourselves in a box because Mm -hmm. other people they work like that other people they don't other people you know for me and you to have a conversation with me you sitting here and mm-hmm. you talking to me it's like i can already tell her mm-hmm. just by you you know mm-hmm. so if you arrive at a healer that thing we buang get those should i say get away 
That's the reason why we have this thing about bitsang in fish. You know, if if us are twelve fish, you're not going to be a good healer. You know, okay. if us are twelve fish, so people they have this thing out how you're going healing. Uh, you should sit there and just be quiet. Hey, but hung harasa little fish. If you want help, buwa bo sahuri. You know, this is where I'm going through. Uh, uh, can you help me hmm. this way, Gok? Because kwa fish, you know, we are drilled. You must get them fish. Yes, I was there doing the officials, but when I'm home, mm. I guess a little twas. You need to come through and be like, "Coco, I am struggling so and so and so so that you can be able to be helped because how to be real healing your thing like what if mutho ang ko yena u filwe ka miriyan. And when are you supposed to come and tell me hore? Hey, something is running there by my house. Mm. Then when are u tutsi? Ha khone lo go bona. That also needs to be addressed. Khona le batho ba sa khone go bona. A ke rebe ba ba kenya go this thing ya gore ha ke makela. Then not everybody can be gela in that way. Khona le makela tsa mang ka bo rapedi. Khona le ba bang ba tsa maka ba ba ya meeting ba tsang. So we not the same. It, it actually now makes me think because there like we were saying in the beginning that there are so many different modalities. If I come to you you would know let's say you also have it's profit mm. you know would you know that you should you should use that channel of healing or can I say actually I don't think I want to go to a sangoma but we are going profit mm. um or there is ukoko tandaza or somewhere mm-hmm. you know is it is it you as a healer who will decide which channel to use or Can I say I have come to you even though you might have a spectrum of 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 modalities mm. as a person when can I come to you and say to you I have come to you because um profit or um tenders it mm. and that is the service that I would like mm-hmm. can I do that yes you can there are very seasoned healers here mm-hmm. you know so seasoned that they can channel their guides just like that mm-hmm. while Where now when you haven't been, you know, seasoned in a way, you still like I don't know who's going to come today, you know. Okay. I don't know who's, but that's as so only seasoned. Mm-hmm. You can come through then I'd be like, okay. What what do you want? Bones, this, and people as it's only on that level. They tend to think different Gawain. Mm-hmm. They tend to think you might be fake. Okay. You know, people cuz when I this thing airing when you go to a healer they should be able to channel where nasi dimusa how and what's wrong with me. Khona le ba dimu ba bang ba tlini hampe they don't want to be tainted. Le you know you when you come consult hmm. they just be the side. Be like no, this person so 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 give them this. You know, they should go for cleansing. They just come for that. That time I think is profit. Hmm. Then when now do you more you you allowing yourself to to be healed because now you need to accept what the, what has been told because other people are babatli miriana babatla di washu you know that's color therapy so if when now la how let's amaka color therapy and la omong let's amaka herbology we need to also respect that but very seasoned healers they channel that hmm. like that okay. How how do you know when you have come to the wrong place? You know. And I'm talking specifically in that moment. I'm not talking about the 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 umuti asa sebens. You know, I'm talking about in that moment when you're still sitting in Tumbe. How do how do I know that? Yes, in no. This is actually not it because you have to consider that yeah. i'm not familiar with consulting hmm. so i'm scared the moment i i walked through the door right everything about this process uh, maybe not say scared but i'm unnerved yeah right because in this whole process nothing is familiar to me right and and i'm fighting my own prejudices that i've that i that i grew up with about mm-hmm. you know I'm not used to the smell of mpep itself. It's burning and it's burning my eyes and I can't breathe and there's weird things on the wall. Like, you know what I mean? I'm 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 already not comfortable. Yeah, I get you know you, my man. my 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 adrenaline is already 
pushing, right? Yeah. It's already pumping. How am I able to discern that? No, man, I don't. I'm not comfortable with what is happening. I don't even want to say what is happening is wrong, but mm. the best I can say is that I'm not comfortable with what is happening. How do I differentiate? You know, I will say intuition, but um, intuition. Uh, do you know how to see? Let me make an example. But the first time when you see your your girlfriend and you know, and like you love them, mm. then you get butterflies in your stomach. Mm. That's the sign of run. That is mm. not the woman for you. But we have managed to translate it. Really? Yeah. Butterflies. When mm-hmm. somebody does something wrong, that thing it hits you. But how do we call them? But butterflies. I get a call. Oh, I got butterflies in my stomach. First brain, second brain. Mm. This brain will always tell you when something is wrong. Mm. But if only inside a place now you're starting to feel uncomfortable, don't be unapologetic about going. Mm. Just tell them, Mm-mm, I'm not right. You go. They're not going to do anything to you or force you to do something that you don't want to do. Always listen to your angels. Your angels, they will talk regardless. Mm. If you you enter in a place and you don't feel the zen, mm. vibrations, thou dear, because mm. we're dealing with vibrations, mm. listen to that. Don't you dare be like, hi, Mara, let's just do this and finish you are not at ease you should mm. be comfortable comfortable what about the lightly first time you how are you going for healing even though somebody will give you you know the root awakening that you necessarily don't don't like you don't want to hear but as much as you are comfortable let's hear it but how is it comfortable but when I immediately walk out, ah, I'm too bad. Leave, because already you are no longer believing in whatever that they're gonna say. Mm. Just be a little favor, Oto Otamai, because you'll be wasting your time mm. and theirs. But no, this is this is this is very challenging because what can what can happen and what does happen is that um, I come to you maybe it's second or third time I've ever consulted and what you're telling me literally does not make any sense you, you're telling me things that I'm not even going to say I'm not familiar with you're telling me information like you're saying things that you're talking about certain people you're talking about my aunt you're talking about this you're talking about, and it does not make any sense I'm like and and you say you know you're saying this and this this person is doing this to you, for example, as a typical, very, very cliched example, you know. Konu auntie, who's mm-hmm. doing this, is like, bruh. my aunt raised me, you True. know. She, she, I'm like her only child, mm. you know what I mean? And besides that, because that can have a shadow of doubt in it. But what does happen when, to put it in a simple way, this person is not connecting. I don't know who this person is talking about, because clearly they're not talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> like is it is it do you are you compelled to give them the benefit of the doubt in that they are seeing things that you don't see you know you're seeing things that I'm not familiar with you're looking at things from a different perspective altogether and obviously you're seeing things deeper okay you know does it at what point then can I say actually no I don't I don't believe anything that you're saying I I think I've made a mistake first time when you feel it say it mm-hmm. you don't you don't own anybody like the reason of of them not being forthcoming mm-hmm. if you're not feeling what they're saying say it and have another thing when you go and and you do consultations you should the reason why get people they should pass because you are you know libation goes a very very long way because you're going there for you mm. right things that that are going wrong they should be about you mm. if you're going to a healer mm. if we go a healer mm. you know you're gonna find that if we go a healer at some point now something you know like we are target mm. you want to hear the targeting mm. you'll find that healer that's how it works and 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 simple as that if you want something that is that is constructive towards your healing and it's in the light learn now yourself do research about ngakayo hmm. it's easy to do research kangakazo 
Hey, I don't through, know. Through your lossy. Mm-hmm. through God. Mm-hmm. If you are a person or okay, now nah, I don't know my losses. I don't know, you know, um, that connection. I get to be dealing with people who are first time mm-hmm. coming there and read the Psalms. Mm-hmm. You go to the Psalms, you find Psalms 23. You As read in the it. Bible? Yes. Okay. You read Psalms 23, you pray on it. Then you go to Psalms 27, you pray on it. Because Psalms 27, there's a line that says, even my father, nor my mother, God will always have me. Mm-hmm. Read those two Psalms before you go to consult. Okay. Now, that's that's a bit different because of that I've never heard before. And I can see that the, that direction can be challenging for people. Because I could now we're talking about African spirituality. Mm. Now you're talking about the Bible. <laughs> right and i almost don't want to go too deep into it because i feel like that on its own is is a whole different episode it's a whole episode on its own um the the the, the it's actually a topic i've been avoiding for the longest time <laughs> i'm consciously avoiding talking about the correlation the spiritual correlation between christianity and african spirituality um but i'll get to it but is that is that how you operate? Is that if if I were to call you and say I would like a consultation, is it the kind of information that you would tell me over the phone to say before you come, please do this and this? And what if you say to me, um, read Psalms twenty seven, and I'm like you know because I get it now we're in the moment and when when you're sort of in a, in a, in a situation where you're what I, can I say? You're a bit intimidated by a person. Mm. When when Horner says, you know, go read. Okay, we, we I'll see you on Thursday at eleven o'clock. But mm. before you come, you know, um, please read Psalm twenty-seven and please, you know, no no hanky panky for for three days. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll be like, yeah, and I laugh it off, and then I drop the phone. I'm like, ah, now that she wants me to go read the Bible. Ah, yeah, but no, you know. <laughs> This is now these people are weird now you know, because <laughs> one thing on during the day they're rejecting jesus they reject rejecting christianity and then now she's telling me that i must go read the bible how how do you reconcile that conflict with the with that person in that time without then having to take them to the whole cosmology of explaining how the what the correlation is well if 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 you have you know you call and I tell you because everybody that comes for consultations with me they know I'm mm-hmm. I'm strict about God comes first mm-hmm. in everything that you do mm-hmm. whether you understand the Bible the Western way mm-hmm. it's up to you mm-hmm. you know but we can go to politicking about where the Bible you know comes from mm-hmm. you know then if if you if you operate in light. Whether you call God Yahweh, you call him Tikwa, you call him Ramasedi, Rona kasa sutu ke Ramasedi ke chacha macholo ke jere ke sekhele, you know, ke mohokong le mupi. You need to have, you know, for healing, hagi ke tzikilichi, you know. The gift that I have is something that came away. Most of people will say from my people, mm. you know, but literally came from God because God before our father, you know, your gifts needs to wake up somebody in your lineage and be like, do you know this person? Mm. Then that person, if that person says, yeah, I know. So take this and go give them to them. Even like said, you can do more personally in heaven. Only the angels I get. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. So immediately when I tell you to read the Bible is for your good because mm. you're coming for the first time. If ever you're starting to say, oh, no, I'm not going to go there. You're not for me. Mm-hmm. Meaning there's a healer somewhere that can help you with whatever that you're going through. That's the problem that we're having. Kabungoma. Everybody wants everybody to come to them. Mm-hmm. If that person doesn't resonate with what you're saying, you're not for me. And I'm not going to be in the space. Ahore. Let me chase this person. And, you know, maybe they'll come. I'll give you your space because mm. clearly you need to make some mistakes before one another light again because mm. i can't spoon feed you and be like yeah you know if you find god and you align yourself with god some people they don't want to hear that mm. there's been a whole lot of people rejecting the bible saying that it's the western bible it's it's the word of god whether it was edited 
because lwe na molafi nya gago you edited you know whether we've been giving it via the wrong way as you know a spoken word we've been doing it mm. before they came we've been doing it do we need to put color on it it's up to you god is colorless to me cuz me i see god through nature in the morning when i you know that's how i see god like today it rained and i was mm. like oh, you know jeka ba choko bungome amanda wa yakhulu but for me it's I don't want to put myself in that box, you know. So if healing for you works in a different way, find a healer that works for you and with you and with your ancestors as well. Because uka tolor you are going through a phase right now, you're so angry. You'll be attracted to a healer on a little tsele for that or then when you done, they no longer make sense to you. Then you're like, "Hey, has lokoko ka ta sebenza." then you need to change your healer so coco here's a situation right i've been to like four other healers and yeah. none of them are helping me yes someone said you're very good yes yes <laughs> but i don't take credit with that one <laughs> you know so 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 the, the, what do, what happens in these scenarios where for whatever reason I've consulted multiple times mm-hmm. and I feel that every person that I've seen is not helping me because I have this problem and this problem is not going away. How do you deal with what do they call it ndumba hopping? Hey, that's ndumba hopping. Mm-hmm. That's a very serious case. Is it? Because it has dangers. You are exposing yourself to a lot of uh, uh, uh spiritual portals because in Dumba ni Dumba in ali li li miritito. Likautsela e basebetsang ka yona. So if you are Dumba hopping sit down. Clearly sit down because you need to ask yourself what is it that you want from a healer. That's why get people they should be honest. But they are not coming like that thing, you know, mm-hmm. because they know immediately I start saying that, oh my goodness, this healer is going to see me as if I'm bad. Be honest. You know what what is it that you want when you go to a healer? Mm-hmm. Most especially when when you have been in touch with your life and your journey. So if you are in Dumba hopping, very dangerous you will get to a point where you will go to a healer bakolona they will never babule ditaba batlo u share baba re ha ke yo wa mo bona u tlile hape ko mo ha ke a thule but they will eat your money they will chow it you'll come here then certain problems then you're like mm, they don't make sense that's the reason why get it before you do all of that number hopping find out your surname find out where you really really belong because the root root problem of us as black people comes from that mm. i think what what causes well let me not say what causes what complicates this is is we feel especially with our with our background in in in, in western medicine in that the issue of um um a second opinion mm. right <clears throat> where And and I do hear it sometimes from healers who say and you said you saw yourself it's it's fine to leave a healer mm-hmm. if you're not happy with mm-hmm. whatever it is that they're saying or their approach right at what point is it seeking a second opinion and at what point does it become number hopping when you seek a second opinion you should at least like let's say today you come and consult right mm-hmm. then maybe khona le dispensary etsa galang and fuwa di wash you know you use them and after that wait a month you know because you need to understand the spiritual time in this time is not the same mm-hmm. when you pass like a friday maybe ka kwale it's 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 tuesday they need to go through a week before they can attend you you know so give it time but how fisha high even through consultation we can no pass please give me the knowledge to understand because vele ka consultation khona le baba ang vele ba consult that they might yeah go on a rampage and you don't understand what's going on mm. when you get home 
address God and your ancestors in a prayer. Whatever that I had that I didn't understand, give me knowledge and wisdom so that I can be able to understand and connect. Mm. That's how it is. They will come to you. And Luana will be open to a sense of if you start feeling, do you know most of the time when they speak to us, you'll want to have tea. Mm. You'll want to be homely. You want to be grounded. Take note of that. Then, mm. that they're too strict. When you start to realize, Hore, there's in it doesn't sound, you should know, Hore, like, it's not happy. Get mm. out. Don't just weep, Hore, I am doing this for the sake of, but well, not for the sake of, it killed a lot of people. Do mm-hmm. la assess your life. Check out where are the tensions in your life. Because we don't do that as people. We don't check where the tensions are. Mm-hmm. We are so quick to say, No kamolo sebedi sa se wa sho. Eh, luena ukaya wa sebedi. Oi. Waste money. It doesn't work for you. Lao tu se wa sho se. Spatle. Leave it there by your your summer area or your prayer area, your mm. Altanian, leave it there for like two days. They will speak no matter what. If you don't have to say that thing, you will not have to say that thing. You will not have to say that thing. You will And I've seen about how to say that thing. It will be faster because you will not have to say that I have paid money for this. Mm. You know, let me use it. Listen to Ababuwa Mamel. So I came to you because I have migraines. Mm-hmm. You gave me what you give me. As you say, I give it a month. Nothing has changed. Nothing completely. Nothing, nothing. has changed. Actually, it got worse. Oh my. So now the question is at which point do you consult again? And at which point do you leave the person? Hmm, that's a very tricky one because if they get worse and now you've went to a healer and they've given you something to to take mm-hmm. and they've gotten worse, mm-hmm. it's either this person has unrattled something mm-hmm. and you need to find out what it is. Mm-hmm. But if you're And you have to go back to them. If you don't feel like going back to them, don't go. Don't go. This is one thing. What you asked me is is something that most of the people, but they don't put it like I have a headache now. It does, he just went worse. We'll just go with the general one. Somebody goes, Ulo consulta. A healer says, you must go twasa. You know, mm. nya twasi sana. Mm. You know, then from there you start dreaming this person. Mm. You should ask yourself, did you dream this person before you consulted? Or did you dream after? What would it mean if I didn't? If you didn't, emelal mm. loud boo. Don't mm. jump because it's the same as me. If you go uh, Muriana uh, and you go, then your headache goes worse. Mm. And listen, your instinct and intuition will never, never throw you away or give you a different direction. You will know her. it's because of that thing. Mm. You know, do I want to? I still want to take it. What's about on our blow again? Eh? What's about kisa kamuli sabo that mm. embarrassment it's 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 killing a lot of people because even when you see Hori, this is not working for me let it go that's why kere murana wa upathela whether u thotsi ko mang ba re hey this is a powerful healer eh wa upathela murana whether this was yourself fans on so that ba henu if they like it they can come in you know Mm. That's the reason why you find other people. Baba Sebedisa, uh, certain uh, 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 Mirian high sebeds. Mm. It's because Koluna by battle. So, imiti works in conjunction with your people as well, not mm. just your body. Mm-mm. It's the same as if you go for cleansing, right? Mm. If you go for cleansing, you need to know what kind of cleansing you're going for mm-hmm. because you cannot be just a general cleansing. And this is the cleansing that I'm seeing mostly on on social media. Mm. Abortion cleansing. Mm-hmm. That's a very, very deep thing. Mm. Even if after I've cleansed you, mm. there's a chance out the next year when you go to a healer. Mm. 
know, mm. and you're going to be like, no, but I went to Coco and mm-hmm. I did the cleansing. Mm-hmm. What's wrong now? Did the last Coco did something wrong? And we have to stop this thing at Hila where we are saying the other one didn't do right mm. by you. Shut your mouth. Laubona hore they didn't do right. Fix it if you can. Because now if you start saying that hore the other one didn't do right by you, how do you know hore ole na mo tlapisetsa something or na sna knowledge hore wetsa nga ke rona so tsena le batho ba etsang di general knowledge. Ba fi hlefelo fi tla go fe di bata go etseng a go etseng and when you don't ask. Yeah. But if ever when sa portion now this is an advice khono abu this is an advice to women you can go to a healer and get cleansing mm-hmm. as long as usoka ya kolona what does that mean as long as usoka we are like you need to come after cleansing let's say you you come to me and cleanse you you've done a portion right mm-hmm. i've cleansed you you still need to go home and tell your mother and tell your father yo yeah. and tell your uncle so that they can be able to cleanse lesaka i can see issues with that you see i can see dif- so, because because i mean most of the time it would be the mother who knows because you can't tell your father that that, that you did that if bonkhonovele bonkhonovele they keep secrets for us mm-hmm. if you, you you've done a portion mm-hmm. at least you can tell your mother mm-hmm. you know mom i've done this mm-hmm. mama need to a uh, buy and twing in a go tif le sebetsa ka e go tif le sebetsa ka ngku you need to buy ngku o tlo hlatswa le saka Mm-hmm. so that that thing it doesn't become something in so dulai ba skoloto you did a portion now there's a child imagine a granny on the other side ne mm-hmm. carrying a baby that is nameless when are you busy going on in life here so this child is growing up spiritually mm-hmm. still it doesn't have a name mm-hmm. when are come you busy having other kids now they're starting to have name how do you expect the spirit to be free That spirit will cause you havoc. So immediately after you doing cleansing and all of that, go home, tell your mother. If you're scared of telling your father, tell your mother, "Mom, I did 1 2 3. Mm-hmm. Can we please at least still in as a family?" Then o tla tlhapisa you and that thing I needed me ryan. Because I get already so ile for 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 cleansing to a healer. You know. Can can I ask a tricky question about abortions yeah because now we're talking post mm. right what would happen if i let me be diplomatic a couple mm-hmm. comes to you and they say we are with child but we cannot or other may just say a woman mm. a, young, a young girl comes to you and say i'm pregnant i'm still in school or whatever the reason whatever the reason i cannot have this child mm. what is your role as a healer in that particular in the particular si- situation in- oh my goodness for me is to advise you i know that you don't want to have a child i'll advise you of the calamities that will come after mm. hore now you're going to have an abortion mm-hmm. right first thing that you're going to do after abortion don't go to this bosh people right go to a proper place Mm-hmm. Firstly, after that spiritually you need to get cleansing from me. Then after that you need to really go home even though only only go that Asian where you don't want to tell your parents. Write it down somewhere. You know it's, it's weird I'm getting really really emotional because I want to ask there's a question I want to ask but it's actually painful to even just think about no. it. Um it's how do you prepare the child? How do you prepare the child that's pregnant the fetus that spirit wow. right so, because <laughs> the, the 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 mother is there i know you it's weird it's getting me very getting teary even right the 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 person is coming to you and whatever story it's, it's her it's her reason mm. you know you respect it do you have to prepare the child to say you yeah. cannot come or cuz but it's not even you cannot come you already here no you cannot make it here we need to talk to whoever that's bringing the child forth and it's usually very painful it's usually very painful mm-hmm. because even the healer otlo otlo tswarang that ritual i don't know if batho ba itseba but whoever otlo tswarang that ritual ya pelegi ora o sa tlhola o ibatla 
they really need to be um ngaring in their purest form kwa fastiwa ho ba njwa le sentso lo tshwara thapelo tap ke thapelo ya 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 dikeledi miyogo e bohloko ke kagolo in a way jwa la sentso tlwetsa karolo e setseng ile ka haga mpa you really really need to yo you really need to even know di thapelo tse tsamelana lo kopa tshwarelo on behalf of this child as a woman would it be unfair to take a person a woman who's pregnant through that process like is it too guilt ridden to does it does it does it evoke too much guilt to go through it in the, to go through that root of a process in well, it's about to be really honest it is it's it's very very emotional mm-hmm. and if you don't you no longer and you've made a, a decision that i no longer want this mm-hmm. be 100% sure because the tapelo tse no ha di etsiwa you want to feel it inside it will hit you in a place that you you thought hey, i thought my heart is here but i'm feeling it here mm-hmm. and you will start thinking twice that's the reason why maybe when it comes to to should i say the modalities of healing you no longer find those type of people even though laba leting they they shy away because since it was in go to abortion go there go again get cleansing they be fell out number nobody will tell her the whole step by step thinking or okay you know what if ever you don't want a child and you've done a portion rai bona we yense go get that type of cleansing earring how fits out with because you know a portion the way linga thing hai sa kwalwe e end up by ba symptoms study miscarriage mo family Mm-hmm. so you need you really need to tell your mom if you don't know how to tell your father the mom will find some way to tell your family that we're going to be doing eh uh, then that's it you know as long as your mother knows mm-hmm. you're okay so that then the the naming ceremony happens for that child you know mm-hmm. because you can do the naming ceremony but if you haven't went to your family and at least one person and told them that child will forever come go the consultation you know mm. like eba mm. would, would would that process though help with the recovery it does the long term it does mm. because has it so fit them with that o ka that thing in earring i wonder you know cuz women we suffer from the i wonder point i wonder if i didn't do that you know cuz now as it's all well it's all all that chances 99% o tlomolora as it's all muholo coming through to you and saying things that they need to say to you so it's better go ba le 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 dlozi le le khonang go tsa di local ka ka ha ga le sedi than to mm. have somebody on the other side yeah no kwa dile like i'm nameless they don't record they don't acknowledge me there's cuz imagine on the first born ke na first born ke litse bolola how then you have another first born mm. and now you don't acknowledge them as the first born you keep telling people this is my first born mm. in time there's conflict there it will be conflict I know most of the people to be like I go go is if if in kezile yes you have go home o lo hlatswa le saka o ba o hatile boloko ba henu ke so thuseno tlamile o lwetsa shogo wa bo hlatswa so that o khone o re lwena ha o dutse o khone o phuthulwa because o khone o tle bang a mo hela ngwana ha o moya wa ngwana ha on the other side yeah they receive it like oh they didn't make it ke mang le tsola hai no name mm so one know how hola kamo o shebile you you progressing sure okay let's let's take it back to to consultations now is there a misuse of consultation oh yes mhm like the, can can i as a person misuse consulting services 
Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, as a person outlang for consultation, they can misuse the, 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 the services based on things that probably they don't understand. Mm-hmm. You haven't maybe, you know, explained your protocols to them. Because I've seen people about physical consult that they'll still call, be like, Gogo, why did you say in the consultation? Then I'll be like, yeah, but that's, I don't remember. So always when you go for consultation, go with the, your book and your pen. Can you record? Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. But ask, not for now you can, because I don't mm-hmm. have a problem. Because most, even though it's so, it's so, there will be a time during the consultation, oh, I'm gone. Mm. And I wouldn't even know what the hell I said to you. So when you come back, you're like, go, go. You said, I'm like, oh, I don't remember. Because they don't work the same. Mm. You know, Badim. Mm. They don't work the same. So um, at the same time, healers, they can also misuse the consultation. Mm. Especially when they see that you're naive. They can mm. tell you a whole lot of things that they don't make sense. And if something doesn't resonate with you, they say, mm, 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 mm. Mm. You know, so that they will they will know Hori. I call it you on to them, you know. Mm. Because vele honalia point mutwagena how it's a consultation like ah it was a li konam sanj. Ur 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 ah nothing. Mm. Then what happens then? Mm. Is it that you turn the person away? You become an honest person? Or you gonna be there udule and pretend like you see? That's where the problem will go. Do you have, in your experience, do you find that men and women consult for different things? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick one. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Mostly when a guy consults, they, they want to know who they are. They want to know about the future. I want to start businesses. You know, am I going to be fine? Mm. You know, women on the other side, mm-hmm. you will you will love and hate them. They'll come with things that you like. Hey, is this even necessary? They consult. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I've seen uh-huh. in my experience. Women, you know, females, they're probably going to hate me for this. But they are deadly. Yeah. When they want something, they want something. And they don't care. You know, mm. it's like, uh-uh, I want it now. Women are deadly when they come there and they say what they want. That's the reason why I say, you know, if 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 men, the, the male counterparts, they'll start to live on our future, be like, Lena, this is what I want, Coco, you know, in terms of the love life, uh, in terms of, you know, prosperity, be honest. Because females, when they come, Kondumbeng, things that they say, ha, yo, yo, you be like, hey, really? You know why is that? In your view, why is that? Why is it that men come? I I, I was going to say it's for selfish reasons, <laughs> but I guess both sides are selfish in their own way. Why is it that men come trying to make to help them? Let me put it this way: men come to help them to become pro- providers. Mm. And it's a nice politically correct way mm. of putting it, right? Yeah. Men are trying to figure out ways to provide, yeah. right? Businesses, yeah. health, performance in the bedroom, I suppose. Yes. I'm assuming, right? And then women, <laughs> as from what you're saying, tend to focus a lot on love relations. Materialistic relationships. things. Okay. Yeah. So it's the same thing. So it, now it's, it's uh, different. Interp- interpreted you the same different. You want it for you. Mm-hmm. They, they don't necessarily want it for themselves. They will just destroy you. Some they destroy you for fun. Yo. Okay. Some they will uh, know that yeah, you yeah, have yeah, built yeah. this and this is nice and you know, be like ah, Gogo, you know, you went into the woods. They yo, Gogo, it's a compa something here. Like no, but into the woods only. You know, like here, fella. I'm born. Like okay, oh my lads, I. <laughs> what do you do in, 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 in those cases where 
people, women, come for those things. When they come for those things, yeah. me, how I work and how much Josie works, which is, yo, at least, you know, when I found out that's how I work, I was like, hey, I'm happy. If you are not married, I don't help. I don't want to lie. You can't come to me and say, Coco, I want this guy, make this guy mine. When the guy is looking somewhere else, I don't. So you give potions to wives? To wives and men. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let, me, let me just make an example so that you understand. Okay. You've married somebody. You guys, you've been together for a very long time. You guys, you are super in love. Mm. Right? Super. Right? But your doses are not connecting. Those are the things that sometimes breaks the marriage. You guys here in the flesh, you are like this. You want nothing. I'm sad. Wow. I'm sad. Wow. I love you. I love you. like, mm-mm. Why are they making my money? She's, she's not a slave, man. Mm-hmm. People are like, hey, oh, she's easy. Can't you know, you guys, you are in love, mm-hmm. but your losses are not in love. You need to do a ceremony. I don't do CGs. <laughs> you need to understand, Hori. It goes deeper. You need mm-hmm. to check, Hori. Are the ancestors also like. You know, if they're not together, you can be there for 20 years. After 20 years, it goes. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. Even when you're not together, you're not together. 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 <laughs> if they didn't go through plenty of amayeza, they went through. Irukwele's example, ne? How le musutu? Ake o hona lutu liatabi. Li hona lele bollo la la sitswe jana hona lele bollo la basadi. What 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 is that? Uh, young adolescent, like if you are reaching adolescent as a young female. So there's a right of passage yeah, for young, young females female and and, f- and for women, women, women. Okay. Right. When you go there, what do you think they, they, they're teaching those those people up there? Mm. Yo, okay, now I... Because <laughs> okay. it's different from Lona Banna, Luko Tabing, and, you know, you guys, like, you're singing those songs. <gasps> and it's nice. And, like, you're feeling that masculinity in the uh-huh. air. Uh-huh. Uh-uh, not on the other side. Deadly conversations on the other side. Can you say potential? Please don't... <laughs> And when I say deadly, <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way. But serious conversations. It's serious conversations. Metaphysical conversations. Like they will tell you, Hori, then people will be like, hey, maybe I should cook, I should... No, you don't mean that. It means something different, you know. Then, you know, how kala ubona go monna ha wa o sokodisa kala peng monna wa lukisiwa most of people bana na se jesus like ah ngi zo mhlis if santsano le hila o sebedisa ka se jesus i get a house you can i even feel wrong for us <laughs> <laughs> can there be need imit in a relationship in a healthy way yes oh yes Oh yes. Do you recommend? I do. Please tell me that both partners should be aware. Yes. Okay. Because when you come, ne, like you come first time, you are married, and you're like, hey, Coco, you know my husband is giving me problems. Say, hey, I want him to come, mm. but he's not open. There's a help that I will give you. Zamolo slap a guy on. But like, na lemon na how? Or Coco nangu. Yes, you guys just sit, we talk, we speak, brabua, flex, you know? Then you start saying, this is what I want from my marriage. When I was it that you want from your woman? I want this, I want that. And you know what? It's funny. It's funny because when you tell the females, mostly guys, they just want you to respect them. Respect. Number one. Most of the time I get consulted, that's what I hear. I don't know I'm going to say. Like, just respect, you know. 
like you do them fancy Yeah, but I think that that that's a complicated one because even us as guys, we can complain about respect when in fact we, I'm projecting. Really, there's no there's no uh, disrespect. It's it's in the sense that I'm I'm having, and I suppose it's an issue of having no communication in the relationship. Where if I'm feeling some level of self doubt about myself or having certain insecurities, and I want them to be. Uh, I want them to be treated in a certain way. I want my insecurities to be respected. And you don't necessarily know that I have those insecurities. And you carry on in a way where it feels like you are intentionally disrespecting me because you're not cognizant of the fact that I have this particular insecurity. And that's then I feel insulted because and which is something that you actually not aware of you need therapy <laughs> oh i've been to therapy no i'm saying the question yes okay <laughs> <laughs> but yes no and i've been to therapy thank you um so i think i think yeah but that's also a, a very long conversation because it it deals with a lot of internalized issues and i, I suppose it does go back to the, the the issue of consulting with healers and the 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 aspect of counseling yeah in 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 especially for couples you know because i know that when 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 before we get married we are told that we have to go for marriage counseling mm-hmm. should is there such a thing as yes what would you call it? you know what <laughs> when when you get married Yeah. Go for marriage counseling. Mm-hmm. Go for spiritual marriage counseling. Mm-hmm. Read books on how to treat each other. Mm-hmm. You know, which is most of the people they don't do that. Write down what's your expectations mm-hmm. in a relationship so that it doesn't break. Mm-hmm. You know, then after that, you after that you guys you lelo sola hore. I love that the voice. Does bakoba ona go majlozing? Are they welcoming? Mm-hmm. You know, cuz but wabanga ta Haba sa it's the lot so. Ke bo mkhono, bo mkhono that the one who are negotiating whether we marry, whether we don't marry, you know? Mm-hmm. So if ever you're in a relationship, which are the things that people should look out for, you're in a relationship and the mother-in-law is not welcoming and the sister is also not, it's a sign for you to run. But if you want to be in that relationship, then maybe we'll go back you know butter them up because mm. that's where the blessings comes from the the the, the maternal side of your your guy you know that's where the blessings come in terms of bana in terms of hore liber liberate ke bo ngkhono who decides so you don't want to be stepping toes le bo ngkhono le se di ngkhono you didn't ask me if i believe in what strong healers and weak healers yeah. that one is very interesting okay <laughs> let's let's close off with that one uh, I, i thought about it but i think yeah i thought against it is why, there, why? is there is there such a thing as powerful healer yes how do you define a powerful healer they can and who and who gets to say because i can say you are not because i didn't get any help from you Yeah, I care how le powerful. Ngaka ke ngaka ka manaka a hai. How you mix and you concord you your herbs, you know, mm-hmm. if you know your animal fats, you can have all that knowledge and be powerful, but if you don't listen to your guides, you good as useless. Mm. Because in order for opami said lo tsetsa how the certain rituals that you need to do. So udutsi mo le wena, you are powerful level, you know, uthwasitse le jozi le powerful. You know, there are those people but thwasa majozi are powerful. Re ka se re ka ofela ratswana. But how some amel you good as useless because now khoro pamise di aparo tsa bona di fihle ko that level you need to do rituals you sitting at home you busy bragging to other people i'm powerful you know mina it was la me he sanus he don't do any good because mutholo wa di wash can a go close now when i started honestly i niki na lo shaba batho ba di wash so like haba khanti yo one day lena they will be like you need to go pa me say it's profit or how hmm. so it's a matter of listen to instructions whether or not hurrying because you can 
But as I said, how do you see the Samburu and the 16 years at Twasis and they have no knowledge, I'm Riana, no knowledge of how rituals are done. My rather busy telling people I have 16 years, then at least I can one and only two years of it's out to us because they listen. Hmm. So if people, they listen, take instructions. Hmm. Because the healers are getting at better hmm. because of that. Okay, you go, 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 Okay. But now if you have all of those things and you still don't listen, anka gifta ga go lo elatla. You are you are just you know why saying it's a waste on you because ngaka ya tlamela dula fatsa ya paham. Hmm. Who who be mamu? Ona lo batla lo lahla. O ra ka khathetsi na mo ba o blue tick two years ka o fela. In that blue tick moment keep moving. Hmm. If we want to okay, bonga kabu tuts. I can't remember what I'm talking about. Bonga kabu profit only. How we want to bonga kabu tuts? Can I come come profit? And a healer should always, uh, they should open their minds into learning about traditions their own. Because hmm. you will have the clients that learn, but all about the questions that are that are traditional based. Who tuts how na next? So, lali lijozi la hao. Kenya aromete mu lijozi le la hao. You know, mm. ukoli uleze lebe nice. You know, uskara mm. hao na like, kieta. Di uweze di short course. Eh, uweze nya na hube nice man. <laughs> uskara kieta di taula fela. Uh. If you are interested in, you know, um, tarot decking, buy it, learn. Mm. Explore. Because learn how soko falo tlo ba lijozi. What matters is, what are you going to put in that squama when you're gone? Okay. Because when I get out of the house, I get out of the house, baby, I'm tossing. Then be like, Mama, what's your gift? Eh. No, I get out of the house, I get out of the house. Add, so that I get out of the house. And I get out of the house, the construction is already getting out of the house. It's just killing a lot of things. It's killing a lot of things. Let's be open. And I get it open, open in a light form. Hmm. Because most of the people, they tend to think the devil doesn't exist. He does. He just made, you know, a clever move by making sure everybody thinks he doesn't. Be on the light. Find your people in the light. Work in the light. Because it would be a waste. I see you. I see you. I see to say that the spiritual journey is complicated is beyond an understatement and now with so much of our very reality changing right before our very eyes it seems like the list of things that we don't understand just keeps growing every day I hope that this series has in some way helped in getting a better understanding of what to do when you're starting out in this particular path. But I know without a doubt that you still have a ton of questions and I promise to answer as many of them as possible in the coming episodes. My name is Vasum Zinglande. Thank you so very much on joining me on yet another episode of The Journey Quantum. I appreciate you taking the time to listen and I appreciate all of you who are reaching out. It really means a lot to me. I wish you light, I wish you courage, and I wish you all the very best on your journey. Makwande. <laughs>